Like I probably really don't need any more highlight on my body But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep on applying it until I actually turn into JLo herself Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Eye family. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my highlighter collection. This is yet another part in my series of my makeup collection. I know I haven't been rolling out these videos very quickly because I don't wanna bore you guys with like makeup collection videos, one after the other, one every single week. So the last makeup collection video that I did was of all my eyeshadow palettes. I will leave all my makeup collection videos listed in the description box down below so you can go check them out at any point in this video if you would like to. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the highlighters that I own. These ones are both pressed and loose highlighters because I haven't got enough loose highlighters to put in a whole video of their own, if that makes any sense. So yeah, if you wanna see what highlighters I have and might even see some swatches of my favorite ones, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with the loose highlighters because I only have six of those. So the first four I have just recently purchased. These ones are the loose highlighters by Juvia's Place. So they have the two loose highlighters in the Royalty Bundle and then the two loose highlighters in the Nubian Bundle. I haven't opened these yet because they're new and I haven't actually had a chance to play with them yet. But for the sake of today's video, I'm going to open them up and give you a little bit of a swatch of what some of them are. I'm not gonna swatch all of them because then I would just end up with um, highlight absolutely everywhere. This one is the loose highlighter in the shade Nubia and I'm going to open it up. It's more of a deeper toned highlight, which I actually really, really like because that would go absolutely beautiful on the body. I'm just gonna take a brush and dip it into that and apply some of that on my arm. Oh, can you see that? That is absolutely beautiful. That's what I love loose highlighters for. Like I wouldn't really use this on my face as a face highlight, but to apply loose highlight all over the body, that's what I'm really into at the moment, as long as I'm not wearing sleeves. That's what I love about the summer. Then I use bronzy highlights all over my body. So that one is the Nubia Highlight by Juvia's Place. I'm quite positive that that one is the indication of how beautiful all of these loose highlights are. So those are the four loose highlights that I have from Juvia's Place. And the two other lusters that I have are from ColourPop. These are the two from the Becky G Salvaje collection. This one is in the shade Chisme and this one is in the shade Princesa. And these two I actually have on the rest of my body today. That's what I have on my collarbones and on my shoulders. I just mix the two of them together and buff that all over my body. And this isn't just the light, this is the actual body luster that I'm wearing on my collarbones today. And I feel like it is absolutely JLo-esque beautiful. I love wearing highlight on the body. It, who says it's restricted to just the face? Okay, now all the rest of these are actually pressed highlights. This one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. It probably is a little bit light for me, but what I actually like to do with this one is just to take a little bit of this on a really large fluffy blending brush and just take all of that together and use that to pat all over the face and it gives a really beautiful subtle glow. It's not a bam glittery sort of highlight like the luster is, but this one just gives a really nice luminescent glow to the face and you could apply it to the rest of the body as well. It's probably a little bit light for the rest of my body but I do like to apply this on like the high points of my face and use it as like a radiant setting powder. Not a setting powder but just like a radiant powder just to give your face a little bit more of a healthy luminescent glow. Okay the next two highlights are also from Juvia's Place. These ones are the Heroine Glow 1 and 2. I have actually already mentioned this in a video in my latest makeup haul video but this is what the packaging looks like. I haven't actually used these ones yet. I feel like the packaging is a little bit bulky on these but I still kind of like it. Like, look at the picture on the front. Look at that pattern on the inside of the box. It has an actual pattern on the highlight itself which I think is absolutely really really beautiful. I have not actually swatched or played with this one but if the shimmers in Juvia's Place's eyeshadow palettes are any indication I know that these ones are going to be really beautiful as well. This one is the Heroine one. It's a little bit more of a goldy sort of highlight and this is what it looks like on the inside. This one I have swatched. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one I would definitely use on my face. 
as opposed to using a loose highlighter on my face because I feel a loose highlighter sort of just like fluffs everywhere whereas with a pressed highlighter I have a little bit more control of where I apply it. The next four are from Jeffree Star. I used to have about eight of these in my collection but I sold off the ones that I wasn't using and kept the ones that I felt were a little bit more wearable for me. So this one is in the shade Siberian Gold. It's absolutely beautiful. I haven't used this a whole lot because I just have so many I forget to use it but this is what it looks like. It's a really beautiful beautiful golden lustery sort of shade. I just love how the Jeffree Star Skin Frost apply. This one is in the shade Dark Horse. Again, it's probably a little bit too dark for my face, but this one is beautiful all over the body as well. And this one is in the shade Peach Goddess. This one I do like to wear on my face because it's a little bit more of a face wearable shade for me if that makes any sense. This one is a beautiful peachy, pinky sort of tone. It's not too icy, it doesn't really leave me looking really washed out, which is what I like about it. Which is what a lot of lighter highlights do for me, because I mean, it's not my skin tone. And then this one is the Skin Frost in the shade Eclipse. This is the one that Manny and Miwe made in collaboration with Jeffree Star. I feel like the formulation of this one is a little bit more stiff than the other Skin Frosts are. I don't know why, I just feel like maybe it was formulated differently. It still applies very nicely, but it's not as soft and smooth as the Skin Frosts are. I still really love it though. It's definitely a part of my collection that's gonna stay around because you can't get this anywhere anymore. Disregarding all the drama that surrounds Manny and Miwe, I still really love this product itself. This one is a highlighter palette created by Desi Danger in collaboration with Morphe. This one has sort of like a greeny undertone shift to it, but I don't really use these two a whole lot. I have used these three on my collarbones and on my face when I'm a little bit more dark, when I've been like on a holiday and I have a bit more of a tan. I mean, I'm naturally tan, but when I have more of a tan, I use the darker ones on my face as well. I don't really use this palette a whole lot because I just gravitate more towards different highlights. The next one I have is actually kind of embarrassing. I bought this Jouer triple highlighter collection. This was a holiday collection, I think from last year, but there are three shades in it. This one is Citrine, this one is Topaz, and this one is Rose Quartz. And I believe that these were the three most popular highlighters that Jouer came out with. I have used these ones before. I just have a thing about putting it back in the original packaging, which is really stupid, I know, but I love these highlighters. They are so little and so cute which is why I just felt compelled to leave them in the packaging. It's absolutely ridiculous. I should just take them out so that I can use them more often, but I just feel like it's so pretty in the box. The next row of highlights I have to share are from ColourPop. These ones are their Super Shock Cheek Highlights. I'm not gonna swatch every single one, but I'm gonna tell you the shades of the ones that I do have. These ones are the two highlights made by Kathleen Lights in collaboration with ColourPop from the Zodiac collection. So this one is on the cusp and this one is fire. I really, really love the shade on the cusp. It is a really gorgeous, creamy, beautiful highlighter shade. Look at that. It just smooths out so, so beautifully. And I just keep forgetting to use cream highlights on my face because I just gravitate more towards my powder ones. But I need to use this more often because it is such a beautiful highlight. I also have the OG highlights in here as well. This one is in the shade Spoon. I have the one in the shade Smoke and Whistles. I actually have two of them. I don't know why I have two of them. I'm just gonna give one of them away. I have Butterfly Beach, Stole the Show, Whisk. Lunch Money, Avalon, and Santos. And the reason why I bought Santos, even though it's way too dark for me, is because that's my maiden name and I would just bought it because it was the name Santos. I'm just gonna swatch this. I've had this for a little while and I'm surprised they haven't actually dried up yet, but you know what, they haven't. Actually, it probably has a little bit. Actually, yeah, they have dried up a fair bit. All right, so I'm glad I did this video, otherwise I wouldn't have discovered makeup that is actually going off in my collection and I can get rid of them or include them in my makeup destruction videos. How about that? That's all my ColourPop highlighters. And the next container here I have are all my compact highlighters. So the first one I have in here is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Crown of My Canopy. I think this one's been out for a little while. I don't use this one very often, but I've kept it around because it is so pretty. The reason why I have all of these are because they're so pretty and I just want to own them all. I just want to own them all. That's the Wet n Wild one. 
The formulation of these highlights are actually really, really beautiful. This one is my Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick. This one I haven't actually used a fair bit because I don't understand the shades. With the shades going light to dark in this palette, I don't really know if I should use this as like a bronzer topper or a cheek highlight or like I don't really know. So I've taken some without my finger anyway and I'm just gonna put it here. That one is actually so pretty. I need to use this more often. I'm just gonna take some of that on a brush apply it here. I have so much makeup on my body right now. It's so ridiculous. Mm, so pretty. I look like JLo. The next one is this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in the shade Malibu. This one is very similar to the Makeup Revolution one. And I've actually had this one for so, so long. The reason why I bought this was because I heard Kathleen Lights talking about it like way, way, way back in the day. And I bought it because I thought I needed to have this in my life. I've barely used it, but it is so pretty. Like I probably really don't need any more highlight on my body. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep on applying it until I actually turn into JLo herself. I also have four highlighters from Ofra. I have two unopened ones. This one is the shade Everglow and this one is in the shade Blissful. The reason why I haven't opened these yet is because I've decided if I haven't used them after buying them, then I'm just going to include them in some giveaways that I have coming up for you guys. And the other two I have that I have actually used and really, really love is the one in the shade Rodeo Drive and this one's in the shade Beverly Hills. I absolutely love Rodeo Drive. It's another beautiful golden shimmery type of highlight. Can you see that? Like, I already had heaps of highlight on me, but when I applied that on top, you could just see how much more it stood out. Like, look at that. Look at that. Not that I need any more highlight on my face, but that is so pretty. So Rodeo Drive is one of my all-time favorites, and this one is in the shade Beverly Hills. The next highlighter I have is a oldie but a goodie. This one is Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop Highlighter. It is brand new and unused. I just bought the Champagne Pop one in the compact for the collector's sake of it. And I've actually been using it in this Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop face palette because Champagne Pop is actually in this palette here. And I've been using this one instead of digging into the compact. This one is another highlighting palette with the exception of these two blushes here. These three are highlights. This one is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop face palette made in collaboration with Becca Cosmetics. And I absolutely love this one. Like, this one I actually use. It's strange for me to have something so high-end and expensive that I still actually reach for. Because when I have something really, really expensive, I tend to try and not use them. Unless it comes to skincare, then I use the more expensive skincare because it just works for me. This one I actually use. And I'm really glad I do because I'm getting my money's worth out of this face palette. So I really, really love this one. And we're reaching the end. These are my four highlights from Milani. These ones are their strobe lights. I have the ones in the shade Afterglow, Glowing. I have two of the shades glowing. Okay, I have discovered some doubles in today's video. I will be including those in a giveaway. So I have them in the shade Afterglow, Glowing, and Sun Glow. My favorite one out of these three is the shade Afterglow. This one is just a beautiful icy sort of pink that doesn't actually wash me out. What I love about these strobe lights from Milani is the fact that they aren't chunky glittery sort of highlights. You know how sometimes you have a chunky glittery sort of highlight that just accentuates every single lump and bump on your face? Well, these ones don't. These ones remind me a lot of the Hourglass highlighting formula, but then just add a little bit more kick of shine to it, and that's what these are. You have probably seen me use this in my videos in the past, so it is definitely something that I reach for. But my holy grail, absolute go-to highlighter, the one that I wear to work every single day, the one that I have sitting here in my tray of everyday used makeup, is my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. As you can see, I have hit pan on this. I'm just sort of like scraping the sides now for this highlight, trying to get the most of this product. Because even if it is drugstore makeup, it is actually quite expensive here in Australia. I think for this one, I would have spent like $20 full price. The only time I buy drugstore makeup here in Australia from Chemist Warehouse or Priceline is when they are having their 50% off sales and that's when I stock up on my Maybelline or L'Oreal products. 
I do already have another backup of this one. I'm just waiting to use all the rest of it and then I will start digging into the next one. That's it for my highlighter collection video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which of these you have used or which one you want to see me use in a video. Like the video if you like highlighter. Like the video if you have just as many highlights as I do. Like the video if you have two highlighters. Uh, like the video if you don't like the video. And like the video if you like the video. <laughs> that was so dumb. So anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week, guys. So turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are life as geek eye. Also, I have a giveaway open, you guys. I have a giveaway open up until the point I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away three James Charles eyeshadow palettes, which I bought with my own money. So get in on that excitement. You're not going to want to miss that giveaway. The link to that giveaway video will be also in the description box down below, so you can go check that one out and share it to your friends because who doesn't want to get in on the action of three James Charles eyeshadow palettes being given away for free by me? to you. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. sure about the framing of this video but anyway I'm really struggling with this light at the moment whereas with the pressed light I have with this one is the jack in the um, and I do have another backup of this one <coughs> <coughs> Zodiac collection made by Kathleen Life in Korea oh, so pretty ah. I'm absolutely talked out now I need to drink some water <coughs>